Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Greg McCloskey from ForexLive.com. This is a Forex quick look. I'm going to take a look at the dollar versus Swiss franc. Today's date is July 11, 2024. Let's get started. Looking at the uh, four hour chart, the uh, US CPI data sent the price sharply to the downside. The US CPI data came in weaker than expectations, and we saw the dollar move lower. We saw the yields move lower. Uh, we are seeing uh, stocks, uh, however, uh, move up and down with the uh, flow of funds heading back into the, uh, the Dow, heading back to the Russell 2000 out of the NASDAQ index, which has been uh, soaring in 2024. So a rotation in the stock market. So uh, looking at the dollar versus Swiss franc, what happened technically? Well, the move to the downside took the price back below the uh, 200 and 100 bar moving averages on the four hour chart. Uh, earlier this week, the price tried to stay, get below the 100 bar moving average, could not uh, sustain the momentum here and here. And the uh, price have moved higher, higher and uh, came down toward it uh, in uh, trading on uh, Tuesday, Wednesday. Uh, and in trading here today, we should move sharply to the downside. That move to the downside took the price uh, down toward a uh, technical uh, target, which included the low price that we saw in trading two weeks ago and also the 61.8% retracement of the move up from our low price for 2024 to the corrective high price that we saw here in the beginning of July. That area came in right around the 0 0.89116 level. And as you can see, the price low came in right near that level. Again, it was near this low price right through here from two weeks ago. Since then, the price has moved back up toward the 50% retracement level. And that's going to be a level that traders will be watching uh, for uh, willing sellers against that level. If the price can stay below that level, that would be the best case scenario from a technical perspective for the sellers, for the shorts, uh, comes in at 0 0.8938, stay below that level, uh, keeps the sellers firmly in control, uh, in, at least in the uh, short slash medium term. Transitioning to the five minute chart, what I'd like to do on a uh, sharp move to the downside is measure the uh, corrective move of the uh, move lower. And as you can see, the uh, corrective high price uh, that, that we've seen uh, come in against this level, uh, against the low, has uh, come in short of the 38.2% retracement at 0 0.89417. This uh, area represents uh, the close risk level or a level where perhaps traders who miss this move to the downside would look to get in on a move to the downside against that level. If the price can stay below the 38.2% retracement, the sellers will remain more in control uh, and we could see a rotation further down, breaking through our low price ultimately uh, is the idea on that trade. Uh, we will see, uh, but uh, as you can see, the price has uh, moved back up toward uh, high price, high corrective price uh, for the uh, day and also near that 38.2% retracement. So be aware of this level right here. Um, I like to think that if as long as the price can remain below the 50% retracement, then the uh, sellers, uh, you know, the sellers are uh, showing that they want to get in on the downside movement in this uh, currency pair. So this might be a stop level for traders who lean against the 38.2% retracement. So that's my updated look at the dollar versus Swiss from a technical perspective. My name is Greg Michalowski. Good fortune with your trading. Bye-bye now.